Chinjo Silver Melon Chinjo Silver Melon, scientific name Cucumis mayo L, belongs to the Cucurbitaceae family, melon genus, and thin-skinned melon species. In the early Qin dynasty, Shandong Yidu, now Qingzhou City, Shandong, was introduced and has a cultivation history of over 300 years. Its main production area is on the Mai Beach, which flows through Qingzhou City, Shandong Province. Due to the natural environmental conditions of the beach with strong sunlight, sufficient water source, large temperature difference between day and night, and a complete set of cultivation techniques formed by local farmers for a long time, Qingzhou Silver Melon gradually formed a large white skin, crispy meat, and sweet taste a group of high-quality melon varieties characterized by strong aroma. Qingzhou Silver Melon is produced on the white sand beaches on both sides of the Mi River in Yidu County. When this type of melon matures, its skin is slightly milky yellow, and its flesh is white and tender, with a strong aroma, sweet, crispy, and juicy. It has no residue when chewed, making it one of the few excellent varieties in the melon indu industry. There is a folk song circulating among the local people, the Mi River is clear, and the Mi River is long. The silver melon on the Mi River beach is called the Overlord. It is large, sweet, and fragrant, but crispy pears and apples cannot catch up. This melon has been famous for a long time, and was designated as a tribute during the Qianlong period of the Qin dynasty. After liberation, it was only sold in various provinces and Hong Kong and Macau regions in China. Qingzhou Silver Melon has a cultivation history of over 250 years. It is said that in the early Qin dynasty, there was a flood in the Mai River. Someone picked up a white melon from the water, which tasted delicious and carefully cultivated, thus becoming this excellent variety. Nowadays, the entire county has planted over 1,300 acres with an annual output of over 4 million caddies. The excellent quality of Qingzhou Silver Melon is mainly determined by the natural conditions of its origin. Guadi is mainly distributed on the sandy soil on both sides of the Mi River. These fine sands absorb heat quickly during the day, dissipate heat quickly at night, and have a large temperature difference between day and night. Moreover, the groundwater level on the beach is high, and there is a continuous stream of river water next to it. This specific natural condition not only allows the silver melon to grow quickly, from withering to ripening in only 28 days, but also has a high moisture content, high sugar content, rich aroma, and a particularly crispy taste. Thus, Jinjo silver melon has formed its prominent characteristics of being fragrant, sweet, and crispy. Jinjo silver melon is a variety of melon, known as the best among melons, and named after its silver white skin. Qingzhou silver melon is in a long cylindrical shape, with a slightly longer stalk, about 6 inches long. The fruit has longitudinal grooves on the surface, a raised central ridge, and a slightly larger navel. When ripe, the melon skin is slightly milky yellow, the flesh is white and tender, and the sugar content is generally 8 to 15 percent. The root system of the silver melon belongs to the straight root system, but the lateral roots are extremely developed with developed root hair groups. The stem is in a pentagonal shape, with prickly hairs on it, and the tendrils are not divided in power. It bears fruit from the second branch, Sun Man. Single leaf alternate, pentagonal in shape, with convex leaf edges and short dense bristles on both sides. The petiole is 8 to 12 centimeters long, and has five edges. Belonging to the genus Synthetal flowers, Menetius and Heteritius, with complete flowers. The female flowers have three stamens, mostly developing normally, and are usually pollinated by insects, there are three stamens in male flowers, and the pistils degenerate. The fruit belongs to the gourd fruit, which is in a round barrel shape, with a length of 12 to 25 centimeters, a thickness of 8 to 12 centimeters, and a weight of 400-1500 g. The fruit skin is light green when immature, and white or yellowish white when mature. The seeds are white, oblate and ovoid, weighing 15-20 g per thousand seeds. Growth Environment Temperature Silver gourd is a warm loving crop, and the optimal temperature for germination is 25 to 32 degrees Celsius, the growth stage of stems, and leaves is 20 to 30 degrees Celsius during the day, and 15 to 20 degrees Celsius at night. After sitting on a melon, it can withstand high temperatures of 38 to 40 degrees Celsius during the day. A larger temperature difference between day and night is conducive to the accumulation of sugar, and is very beneficial for improving quality. Illumination Silver melon is a light-loving crop, 
and strong light and long day condi conditions can make it grow vigorously. The gravel on the beach and the reflective effect of the plastic film are conducive to the growth of silver melon. Water content. During the seedling and stem growth stages, less water is required, while excessive water can lead to excessive growth of the stem and make it difficult to sit on the melon. After flowering, the melon will mature. At this stage, the leaf transpiration is strong and the water demand is large, so it should be watered in time. Silver melon has low requirements for air humidity, and excessive air humidity can exacerbate the disease. Soil It is advisable to use loose and breathable sandy soil, sandy loam soil, and loam soil with fast water infiltration and good drainage. Planting in pure sandy beaches requires digging trenches and filling with soil in order to grow normally and produce high-quality silver melons. Fertilizer Silver melon has a high demand for nitrogen and potassium, but less phosphorus. The ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium absorption is 1 to 0.65 to 1.2. In the early stage of fertilization, high-quality manure with high nitrogen content is mainly used, which is conducive to the growth of stems and leaves. In the middle and later stages, soybean cakes rich in potassium are mainly used, which is conducive to the accumulation of sugar. When top dressing, ammonium bicarbonate is beneficial for improving quality, while urea can reduce quality, so it should be avoided as much as possible. Cultivation techniques. Farmers in Gua District have summarized a complete set of cultivation techniques in their long-term production practice, which plays an important role in the early maturity, neat and beautiful shape, high quality, and high yield of silver melons. Here is a brief introduction. 1. 1. When planting in pure sandy beaches, it is necessary to open trenches with a spacing of 2 m, with a width of 60 to 80 cm, and a depth of 40 to 50 cm. The soil should be transported and filled from a distance, which is called guest soil cultivation. 2. The second picking of the Qingzhou silver melon belongs to the sunvine fruit melon, therefore, it needs to be formed through two rounds of picking. When picking three true leaves in the seedling for the first time, two or three true leaves can be retained. After picking, axillary buds sprout from the armpits of the true leaves and can be planted when the buds are 7 to 8 millimeters long. However, it is important to promptly remove the axillary buds from the axils of cotyledons. After the first pruning, the axillary buds grow into the first branch. When 7 to 9 leaves grow from the first branch, the second pruning is carried out. After the second pinching, a second branch appeared in the leaf axil retaining only three to four upper branches and removing all lower branches. Female flowers appeared in the first and second leaf axils of the second branch, allowing for fruiting. 3. Before watering, the light and heavyweight silver melon requires less water in the early stage of growth. After transplanting, it should be watered frequently with small amounts of water to mainly improve soil temperature, and try not to water too much. Due to the tendency of thin-skinned melon to crack during its young stage, Strict control of watering should be exercised during the fruiting period of silver melon or melon. After the size of the young melon eggs, they can be fertilized and watered, usually every two to three days. The melon has grown and its skin has turned white, indicating that it is entering the mature stage. The amount of water poured should be gradually reduced to increase sugar accumulation. 4. Timely harvesting of thin-skinned melons has thin skin and crispy meat, which is not resistant to storage and transportation. Therefore, timely harvesting is very important. When the skin of the silver melon turns completely white, with a pale to yellowish hue, and there is an aroma that overflows, it should be harvested in a timely manner. Gently brush off the sand and soil on the melon surface, wrap it in tissue paper, and box it for sale. If there is rain during the harvest period, the quality will decrease, and covering measures should be taken to avoid rain from soaking the mature fruits as much as possible. Main Varieties Fire Silver Melon The vine has short leaves and weak growth potential, making it an early maturing variety. The fruit is small and has poor disease resistance. The quality of a single fruit is 300-400g, and the yield is low. The skin of the fruit is green before ripening and light yellow after ripening, with a sugar content of 12% to 15% and a maximum of 17%. Sweet and crispy, with excellent quality, it is the main variety for producing high-quality melons and has a large cultivation area. Big Silver Melon De Ingua, also known as Cunozi, 
is a high-yield late-maturing variety. The vine grows with large leaves, vigorous growth, and large fruit. The vertical diameter of the fruit is 18 to 25 centimeters, the horizontal diameter of the fruit is 8 to 12 centimeters, and the weight of a single fruit is 1,000 to 1,500 g. Before the fruit is raised, the skin is green, and the flesh tastes bitter. After the fruit is raised, the skin turns white, and the bitterness disappears. The sugar content is 8% 10%, and the quality is medium. The female flower blooms until the fruit ripens for 30 to 32 days, indicating strong disease resistance. The cultivation area is relatively small. Half Moon White The vine has long leaves and strong disease resistance. The fruit is medium to large, with a longitudinal diameter of 15 to 20 centimeters and a transverse diameter of 8 to 10 centimeters. The weight of a single fruit is 8001500 g. Half a month after flowering, the fruit turns white and appears pseudo-ripe. It takes 28 to 30 days for flowering to mature. The fruit has a sugar content of 6% 8% when it is 8 years old, with a light and crispy sweetness. It is prone to change its texture when fully ripe. Poor quality and small cultivation area.